Today's flow is a evening yoga flow to feel grounded. I specifically made this short video to help you transition from the workday into rest. The more consciously and intentionally we make this transition, the better we're going to sleep and the better we're gonna feel overall, the better we're gonna have like our relationships, our family, um, the happier we're gonna feel, the more joy we're gonna feel. So what we're going to do today is we are going to start in child's pose. So, you know, just imagining one of those days when it's been really long and you wanna get into bed straight away, I invite you to take child's pose instead. So take your legs out. I like to take them pretty narrow for this one. Um, if that doesn't feel good on your low back, you can take your knees out wider and then lower your forehead down towards the mat. You can stack it on your hands. Or the other option is to take your hands behind you and your forehead connects to the mat. Breathing here in your little cocoon. Take this moment to really connect with your breath. Further releasing anything else that's happened during the day. If you've already done some of my journaling and meditation, you might be feeling pretty grounded. And if you find that your mind is wandering, can you pull your sensations, can you pull your attention back to the sensations inside of your body? So noticing how the breath feels as it expands the ribs. Notice how the low back feels, how the muscles begin to stretch. Noticing how your joints feel, how your knees feel, how your jaw feels. And then extend your arms forward, push into your hands and inhale up to, to tabletop pose. Taking lizard pose, take your left foot and place it on the outside of your left hand. And then I like to pull my right knee back. And we're keeping that knee just over this ankle in the same line as the toes. Now you can come up into blocks or your fingertips or you can stay here or you can lower it down to your forearms. My flexibility is not doing that today. So we're just holding here in lizard pose. See if you can invite your hips to open a little more. Looking down at the mat, just past your nose. push into your hands and take your left knee back to where it was. Coming over to the right side, right foot on the outside of the right hand. Breathing here. Finding what's comfortable, shining your chest forward, looking down past your nose at the mat. Full inhale to the bottom of the lungs. Exhale fully. Push into your hands, take your right knee back up through center. And then take your hands just as wide as the shoulders. Take your hips back to your heels, coming into hero's pose. So you can stay here, you can place something underneath in between kind of the heels and the glutes. Or you can take it a little bit further by taking the feet out to the outside edges, either placing a block here and, pl and sitting on that, or just walking your hands back, opening your chest. And you might lower all the way back to your forearms. It doesn't matter how far you get. The most important thing here is that you're keeping these knees connected to the earth and you are connecting with your breath. Breathing here. Lower the head back if it feels good, or you can keep it tucked to the chest. Good. 
Notice all the places that your body is connected to the earth. The feet, the toes, the knees, the shins, the ankles. And then walk yourself right back up. Come up to your knees, come up to your tabletop position. And then lower the feet to one side. So you're coming to sit and with your legs extended out in front of you. From here, we're taking a more restorative passive version of Paschimottanasana. So keep both legs out in front of you. Take any meat that's underneath your feet, underneath your sit bones out. And we're keeping both legs in line, like railroad tracks. We inhale, lift the hands up to the sky. Exhale, pull your chest towards your, your knees. And then noticing where the hands fall, pull them back a little bit. Notice if you're curving in the back, can you lift the chest up? Not trying to go fully deep here, just taking a moment to do this with a straight back, keeping those feet flexed. Then flip the palms up towards the sky and then allow yourself to release and curve down. Breathing into the back body. Holding here for a few more breaths. Forward folds are fantastic for when you are getting ready to rest. Place your palms back on the earth and push yourself up, inhaling. And then we'll come to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. And we'll close this little practice with a chant of Om one time. You're welcome to join me or my sound can bathe you. We inhale to chant. This little flow was made in combination with a couple of other winding down resources I have. So make sure that you do check out the link in this description to make sure that you are using all of them to your best advantage. If you haven't already subscribed, click the bell, click the button, do all the things. New videos out weekly. My name is Sheridan. Thank you for flowing with me.